Welcome back to Blasting Massey Zero, aka Jason's Adventure. <laughs> so, Jason, who are you talking to? The narrator, can't you hear him? <laughs> what? <laughs> the sheer confusion. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like the data matches the information that we have in Sophia's database. It looks like brain. Jason, I just got confirmation. The one who is commanding all these mutants, the mutant lord, is in the air after this one. Is he related to the melon lord? <laughs> there is no top. The iron melon lord. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of the dastardly Melon Lord, the most dangerous wielder of melons. She's a melon bender! Some say she's even the goddess of melons! Got it! Thanks! Now we just gotta find a way to get out of this area, but, uh. Yeah, there's probably a lot of mutants here. But there's no melons, right? Um, not that I know of. Okay, good. Legends say that the Melon Lord is impossible to defeat. To make matters worse, it looks like the mutants who left the glacier area made their way over to this one. No way! Do you think they anticipated that we were coming? I want to say no way. With... With the mutant lord being an intelligent creature, you never know. Wait, Sophie, I have a question. Yes. Wait, you said that these mutants are invading other planets. Is there a mutant lord on every planet? No. Then what's the point of our series? Well, there is a mutant cocoon near the end of the second one. Mutant cocoon, you say, mysterious narrator? Yes, I do, oh game character. <laughs> just sucking Eve there, just like, the fuck is going on? <laughs> just terrified. He's hearing voices in his head. He's clearly not well. <laughs> if that's the case, Jason doubts they're gonna let Jason and you just stroll on through. Alright, let's find the path of least resistance here. I, d I just don't. I don't. Uh, I'm just trying to understand, because like... I have to assume that if there's multiple series here, then the, the mutant lord doesn't actually get killed in this uh, in this game. Like, it escapes or something. Because otherwise, it doesn't make any goddamn sense, based on what you've told me. You're gonna have to wait for the ending. <laughs> and remember, this was based off a standalone game. So... Yeah, but in this, they literally have to rewrite the story to somehow make it make sense, though. Like, uh, like... Because the only other way it would... It, it wouldn't... It would still make sense... Uh, would be if there's a completely separate threat than the mutants. But that is not what you've implied so far. No... Like, the mutants are the... Oh my god, alright. Hello. Yeah. The... They, they are say... they are tough little boys. Yeah, I would say Area 7 is a really big step up from the rest of the game. Yeah, that, that's a little, uh, little bit of an upswing there. Alright, oh, I forgot. Fall damage is a thing. All the other DLC characters. But I can drop as far as I want with Sophia, and it's fine. Right. But Jason can't have shock absorbers in his suit. That would be stupid. 
I think in the third he gets a jetpack, so he could slowly descend in certain areas. Oh shit, even the dash won't kill him in one shot. Oh my god, and those seem to hold. What? You telling me that wasn't enough to kill it? Really? I would say you might want to do some stealth. And watch out for that. I can't climb these walls. Yeah. So it's just a death trap, just straight up. No, like there are way like sometimes that is mandatory to get through. Sometimes it is a trap. What if I just go up here and what? Like, you can't get to me. Yeah, I... I was gonna say, it looks like I just trapped myself, but not... Oh my god, he shot through? Yeah, that was dumb. I didn't mean to go that far over and fall. I will just give you a, a little bit of a spoiler here. Um... The boss of this, while not outright difficult, is kind of an asshole that it involves Jason on foot trying to eat Sophia. That'll be fun. And it took me like six attempts to do it because you will need to grab on a ladder from jumping. Oh, like and remember, I can't freaking wall climb. And remember, you will need to press up as you're over a ladder instead of holding up. And I, I like this not, one. That was a good one. And I just couldn't get the timing right. I don't even know why I did that, because it's just going to respawn. Wait. Uh, I can go in there with Sophia, can't I? Yeah, it's a big cave. It looks like it's just on its own. Uh -oh. Wow, he just knocked me right off the side. Okay. This is fun. Jason is very upset with all of these setbacks. You know, and here I thought we'd end off the the episode, the, the game tonight, but considering the way things are going, that doesn't seem likely. Knowing what I know, I was thinking two sessions. Like, especially that snake. That snake looks a very robotic and not mutant to me. What snake? No, no, like that snake dragon thing that you just blew up. 
snake drag what? That thing that was crawling that was shooting the shots at you. That was a robot as far as I'm concerned. That was I don't know where you're getting snake dragon thing from. I was just describing what it looks like. You're not describing well, because I disagree completely with that description. Okay, okay. But that is a mutant, quote unquote. But how? No, that looks very, very robotic. They all look robotic. I don't know, like, th there's barely anything here that I would consider a mutant. Besides, like, maybe those tadpoles that you ran into before. Okay, it's more, it's more gorilla-esque now that I'm looking at it. Oh my god, what? No, no. None of your BS. Oh, I gotta leave it down. Oh. No. Oh my god. Jason does not approve. Uh, get in Sophia and just like homing missile it? No! Jason <laughs> wants the personal touch for this one. <laughs> this is a matter of Jason's pride. <laughs> I don't know how... There we go. It's Jason's pride as a Saiyan warrior. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. Am I, what was the point? Uh... I... Is there something I can... I, no? What, no? What, was the, what was even the point? I honestly wait, wait, wait. Over top. Oh wait, I thought you. Cl yeah, and then it just drops me. Oh. Unless I need to get on the on the ceiling of this thing. Now I'm thinking about it. May maybe. As a way to bypass the traps. Oh yeah, that's. Oh okay. Yeah, because there's a bunch of fish like traps. Ah, dumb. Mm. Well, it might be quicker if you would just debate. The three searchlight traps and ah. get your homing missiles ready, or your or your dash. No dash. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, it literally looks like it's a wall. Like, I didn't think I could even get out of there. Hmm. They don't even look destructible. Mm. Into a dungeon! Oh! 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 I would s I remember being low on and really needing to stealth this area. You remember being what on what now? 
uh, low on gun and needing to stealth my way through this area. Okay, so that does give it away. Yeah, since you alert basically all of the guards in the room. That's fine. As long as there's a wall between me and them, I can deal with it. Okay, okay. Exploit the system. Oh, they're different. Those are purple. These are the blue ones we saw before. Yeah. Right. Good, good. Don't ever question Jason's genius. <sighs> Their pathing is very terrible. Yeah. <sighs> We're just gonna run into a wall and hope that maybe we get to you. got to me. Mm. Oh! Yeah. Nice. I can only shoot one electric bullet at a time, but if they get close enough, I can just keep rapid firing. Hmm. Oh, there's the So map. this is the map. Stealth kill from behind. <laughs> nice. Uh... And I did see in the third one. You only have five gun types, but the thing is, they are all upgradable. Um, I think it'll be now your Gaia shot. No, no, your, um, super. Oh, that didn't work. My what? No, um, your... the one that looks like a tank. Ah. You only have one of them, but it will take out a boss's health bar. Pretty decently. Since you have like 15 shots, I believe. I believe this is going to be the map down here. Yes, I did. Yeah, and the rest of that's just kind of bullshit to get around. Yeah. I would say not to use it 
because he. Oh wait, never mind. Yes, there is a destructible wall there. I know. I thought I had the other one equipped, and I didn't. Just. The you way, and I think the eight. Yep, here's the exit. I just wanted to see something. Yeah. So next time on Blast Your Nasty Zero, Jason's Adventures. Finally, some recognition. Area Seven is turning out to be. Happy than we anticipated. This world just hates Jason's genius. It's jealous of him.